Welcome to Module 1. Within Module 1, I will introduce you to Active Inspire's basic interface and functions. When you first open Active Inspire, the Active Inspire dashboard will appear. The dashboard contains buttons for a number of different functions. The first one is flip charts. This can be used to create a new flip chart, open a flip chart you've already created, open a recent creation, or import from a different database. Your second button is for annotating over the desktop. This is useful for using Active Inspire's functions while using a different application, such as Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint. Your third button is setting up a poll. This uses your assessment systems, active votes or active expressions. Your fourth button is a link to Promethean Planet. This is a great place to get resources or training and support. Your fifth button is for configuring your board or your assessment tools like ActiveVote or Active Expressions. And your sixth button is a direct link to training and support. So let's get started. We're going to click on creating a new flip chart. When we open our new flip chart page, our control bar will appear on the right. This is going to give you controls to all your editing, formatting, and controls of the page within your presentation. If we look at the first box, we're going to go ahead and click on that. This controls where our toolbar rests. You can see right now we have it floating, we can move it around the page. You can go top, bottom, left, or right, depending on your preference or depending on what you're doing in that particular lesson. The next button over is going to close and open our toolbar. And the third button will pin it to wherever you want to place it if it's floating. So you can use it the tools without accidentally moving the toolbar around the page. Now when our pen tool is clicked, we can change the size of our pen by using the slide rule or clicking the dots below the color palette. So you can go from small to large. You can change the color by just clicking another color on the palette. And then if you take your select tool, you can select all your drawings, click on the trash can, and they disappear. Another tool that is helpful is your highlighter tool. Your highlighter tool is great when you cut and paste text into your flip charts. It works the same way. So right now we're highlighting in red. If we wanted to make that bigger or smaller, we want to highlight in yellow. Other tools include the eraser, works the same as the pen, and we can erase what we just did. Your shape tool below your eraser, you'll see a whole number of shapes along your right hand side. Again, you can choose your colors. Shapes are a great way to paste your lesson, to hide different objects, to hide different pieces of your lesson that you don't want to be seen right away. And it works the same way if you click on the shape with your select tool. Again, you can change the size of your shape. You can place it in the front, in the back to cover up text or an object. You can also change the shape of your shape with this tool. Again, you can click on it, click on the trash can, your shape will be deleted. Your paint bucket fills in colors. So because we don't have any shapes, we can fill in, change the screen color. Your squirt bottle will clear objects. So if we go ahead, click back to the pen. We want to add another object. It'll ask us if we want to just clear our annotation. We can do that. We can then click it again to clear our object. And then if we're unsure and we want to go back, the undo tool will take us back to our previous step. The arrow with the two dots is a connector tool. So if we have two objects, let's add another circle. 
we click on our connector tool now we're going to pick a point to connect from each object and then we can even connect it to our squiggle so now when we move an object no matter where we move it, it's going to stay connected to the points that we attached it to. The icons we haven't looked at include the tool menu to add more tools, your page browser, and your resource browser. And lastly, to save the work that we did, if we go and click on our menu, we go File, and we go Save. We'll be able to save our flip chart to whichever folder we would like. Next time we will look at more tools and more menus within the toolbar.